Chapter 7, A Strange City, Alien Ruins. Um... Isaac, you oh, alright? Right. Carver, he's here. He's headed to the machine. Can you reach him? I'm trying. Find a way into the city. We'll try to meet up on the way. I didn't want to activate that so I could put the uh, handle back. The heavy frame thing in. Do -do. Yeah, you can go back. I might get rid of this thing so I never really use it and make like a single handed one. But the thing is, uh, compact upper tool frame. That's a pistol one with just one unit. Yeah, let's try this. We want a stick of plasma core on it. I might make just have a plasma cutter. Well, if I'm gonna have a plasma cutter, I might as well have a compressor. No, no, not what. I, why do I put the plasma core on there for? Can't you have? Um... Oh, it has to be a. Yeah, an electric core to be one of them, doesn't it? What's that? Produce an electric positive charging wallies. The Negligator Tesla Beam. Negligator Line Gun. Yeah, let's have one of them, shall we? Let's have a line gun on there. What attachments do we want? Um, we don't want full zoom. Safety guard? Nope, we don't want that. Ammo support? Nope. Might as well have that one on there, even though it won't do anything. Damage support? No. I think we will keep with the acid bath on there. Yeah. Let's just stick some of these on. I want this to be a high damage. So, damage. Damage. That's as high as it can. Shall this have a rate of fire on it? It knocks me damage down by one actually if I have that on there. Reload. Yeah, stick reload and high clip on it. And let's roll with this for a bit, shall we? Oh, I've got a heal as well. <laughs> let's see how this will work. That's my... Yeah, everything's looking alright. Alright, these chapters are getting really short towards the end. I've been recording for 36 minutes, if you want to be precise. Uh, text log, yes, but I'm not going to read it. And I've already done three chapters. Well, gone into the third chapter of this recording. Well, I think I have anyway. Malfunction. The misshapen moon in Earth. That's what controls the markers. It's the yeah, I think I started in chapter 15. You yeah. See, the natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid formation, but it wasn't enough. Even half formed, the moon's marker speaks to the markers back home, and it doesn't end there. Do we have to wait for this there to finish, do we? Of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon. It was meant to destroy it. You'll need the codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. Carver, did you hear that? The machine can crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. But Serrano's locked the passage using some kind of alien glyphs. I'm gonna look for a way to bypass it. Yeah, let's do this. Is the door open now? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, is there any clues? Any clues? What's that? Ammo. Open. Okay.
Is that right? Yay! I've done something. Woo! Are you going to take your time? Yep. Ah. Um, open. There we go. Well, that's a nice view. Doom. Boom. My God. It's the call of the marker. Shit. This must be ground zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't... I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know, just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up. Because I'm a badass. You're a good man. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. We just don't always end up doing well. True that. Sorry about Ellie, man. Me too. <laughs> Me too. This way, clear that rubble. Yeah, I was gonna say I Dad, could hear something. It's not too late. You wanna turn it back now, right? Let's go get that codex. Does he come with us now? Or just disappear off the side of the screen? Come on! There he goes. Yeah, so this has fallen through, hasn't it? Yeah, see, there you go. Bum 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 bum. Danik, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievably hard to kill. Are you aware of that? Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. Danik, hear me out! Danik, are you listening to me? Motherfucker! Huh. Is that some sort of e C4 or something? Ooh, what's that? Upgrade circuit. I can't sprint whilst moving this and I have no clue what it's for. But I'm going to keep it with me. Or shoot it off the edge. That's what it was for. Does it respawn? Yeah. Here, I'm starting to hear some funky noises now. Come on, why did the game just let us sprint whilst we had got something in our kinesis? There we go. Yep, C4. Or like some sort of like ignition thing. Boom! There's another one down there as well. Isaac, there he is! Danik! Shoot them! Oh, wow. Uh, 
Ah, it's not that strong. Probably could have took his head off. The plasma cut is probably just, like, straight up stronger. Let's try and see if we can go for a headshot, shall we? Uh, still two headshots. Checking to see if any enemies spawn around here. Nope. Ah, oh, an artifact. Oh, look at this. It's Carver. Hi, Carver. Boom. Oh, I need another one. I know he's getting away. It's because I walk so slow. Hello, Carver. Okay, well, that was a bit sudden. You just blow shit up. That's our plan. Well, oh, the subtitles were off sync with the um, audio there. Uh, an alien burial ground by the looks of, well not by the looks of things it looks like what's happening so. fuck you guys oh wow ah oh, that gun's useless back to the old reliable oh I dodged well he sort of like shot something at me when he died so I've got to be aware of that. Look at all these fucking markers everywhere. I don't want to go the right way. This way is probably locked anyway. Aha! The deep dig teams were some of our brightest archaeologists and soldiers. What happened to them down there? Blue. Cautionary tells to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior? Blue. One more quickly. There we go. Investigate the artifact storage. No. Oh, fucking hell. I'm almost full. Uh, bonus objective? Optional mission. Yeah, let's do it. It's down here, isn't it? Yes. It's just breaks up the path of the main story for a little while anyway. Boom. Weapon bench. I've got a bot going back in uh There we go. Scavenger bot has returned. Yes, I know. Yes. Right. Let's get rid of this silly thing. Uh, gov compact frame. Yeah, let's have that one. Yeah, plasma core. Uh, can what? Can I create actual any? Ah, uh, that's all I can create then, is it? All right, let's have the planet cracker. Um, lower tool. I do want a lower tool selected. Hydraulic engine that can make it. Ro oh no, that's that, isn't it? Uh, plasma core. I can have a double plasma cutter, but that doesn't actually do anything because there's no point in having two of the same on there. Uh, I can have a flamethrower bar on there. Default tip. There's no parts to craft, that's a bit odd. A root core. Telemetry spike. A mining tool that fires temporary alloy bolts. Produces a semi automatic rivet gun. I don't really want a rivet gun on the Tesla core. What can we have? Oh, that's a little electric thingy. 
Uh, military engine. Is there any direct impact? Because there's a powerful revolver. Yeah, you know I'll stick that on the bottom. There you go. That'll do. Um, attachments. Eh, uh, I don't... Do I want a scope? Nah, I don't want a scope on there. I'll just stick that back on. I don't... Well, to be honest, I don't need... Ah, oh, that one would be better, actually. And um, we shall stick the acid bath back on there. Upgrade circuits. Let's just use all the tungsten we have to fill this up. I don't want reload. I instantly just want to, like, max out damage, really. Yep, that'll do. Put some damage on the bottom one as well. Max out the damage. And what does the top one need? So let's stick some. Don't need any rate of fire on there. How about reload? Reload to clip. Yeah, and I think I'll do the same for that one as well. Reload one clip. There we go. And I believe I am all sorted with my weapons now. I think this is what I'm going to keep with. So I've got a revolver on the bottom. And a planet cracker tip on the top. It's a very small lit box. He was Audio log. Naked when I found him. The self-inflicted wounds carved deep into his skin. The meaning of which I can only speculate. I had to work to pry the artifact from his cold, white hand. A curious object made of an unknown material activated, it seems, by sound. The markings are words, that I'm sure of, but without a means of translating them, I'm afraid its purpose will remain a mystery. If only there were more time, I could find other examples of the script stored here and unlock it. Ooh! Nah, ain't that interesting. Well, it should be. Text log? Nah. 